Scandals within the gaming community are not new by any means, many ranging from glitches to satanic propaganda to the promotion of gambling. Some old and recent games have found themselves under investigation by gamers and critics alike. Now there were so many that I was forced to leave out quite a few, but maybe we can do a part 2 in the future, here's hoping. So this right here is the top 10 biggest gaming controversies, let's jump in. Coming in at number 10, Mass Effect Andromeda. Mass Effect Andromeda was a highly anticipated sequel in the Mass Effect franchise, but as we all know, it fell flat, being a major disappointment to fans of the series. The game wasn't the worst thing we've ever seen though, but it just felt rushed. There were glitches that were comical until they became game breaking, and then it was just enraging. <laughs> and the graphics themselves looked more dated than the original game. The backlash against Andromeda was instantaneous, with critics and players alike panning the game. Ever since its release, Bioware has been doing major damage control, releasing patches to amend glitches and increasing the quality of the graphics. But still, it rubbed fans the wrong way, and many people to this day are adamant that it destroyed a beloved franchise. Oh my goodness, writer. Also, the accent. The accent is, I mean, it's not the only thing, but uh, okay, I should just go over there to the piloting thing. Kill. Me. Now. Coming in at 9, Loot Boxes. We could make an entire list about loot boxes, honestly, the controversy surrounding them is insane, but let's discuss the gambling aspect. Recent evidence has suggested that loot boxes are akin to gambling. Yep. This past year, both Belgium and the Netherlands have ruled loot boxes as a form of gambling, subsequently banning them in their respective countries. Not only that, but the US Federal Trade Commission has also confirmed that they will be investigating loot boxes, and if foul play is suspected, this could cripple many gaming giants out there. In at 8, Command & Conquer Mobile. Command & Conquer made its grand return at E3, but not in the form that people asked for. Nope. People were patiently waiting for a new game, dealing with cancellations and pushbacks, but when they finally announced the new Command & Conquer, it was revealed to be a spin-off for mobile, stripping the game of the things that made it so great, appearing almost unrecognisable on the small handheld screen. This announcement was a slap in the face for hardcore fans of the game. Next up at number 7, Diablo Immortal. Oh boy, Blizzard have honestly no idea what they're doing anymore more, because Diablo Immortal was a huge misstep for the gaming giants. This was a game that the fans did not want. If there's one upside, the announcement of the game did bless us with this incredibly awkward yet hilarious moment. We don't have any plans at the moment to do a uh, PC. Diablo has always been huge for PC gamers out there, so when Blizzard decided to step into the realm of mobile gaming and strictly mobile gaming, fans were not thrilled and made it very much known. Not only that, but in more recent news, it was announced the other day, at this time of recording, that Blizzard has laid off more than 800 employees. Fun times over at Blizzard, huh? In at 6, Rockstar. We've all played Red Dead Redemption 2, right? If you haven't, where the hell have you been? It's arguably one of the best games to come out in the last 10 years. Quote me on that. It's truly fantastic, but with such positivity, there has to be some negativity, of course. And oh boy, did Rockstar bring that. It was reported that people involved in the creation of the game worked 100 hour weeks to see the game through to completion. Many red flags flew upon this discovery and investigations into the Rockstar workplace began. A Kotaku piece told of, I quote, several employees employees who felt Rockstar's top management fostered a culture of fear among employees, who felt it necessary to put in as many hours as possible. Yeah, fear mongering is not the best way to lead a workplace. In at 5, No Man's Sky. Oh No Man's Sky, what a ride you've had. The hype surrounding No Man's Sky was intense to say the least. The scale of the procedurally generated universe was unfounded. Fans were riddled with joy at the thought of exploring a game that was likely too massive for them to explore completely in their lifetime. Isn't that insane? The initial gameplay trailer only built on the hype, promising players that they could name planets, animals and the plants they discovered in the game. These creatures that you see, they are intelligent, much more so than a normal game. There was also the fear that you could be caught in the middle of an epic 
epic space battle between the three factions of aliens present in the game. However, that was not what players got. Not even close. Each planet was practically the same, with absurd looking creatures that made little sense. There was no space battles and anything you named in game would be wiped clean from the server just a few weeks after. And though they promised you could meet other players in game, that also turned out to be a dirty lie. However, the devs over at No Man's Sky did major damage control after the severe backlash they received, releasing an update that was essentially a brand new game. The game they promised us from the very beginning. In it for Mass Effect. Again. Okay, so this controversy was surprisingly not the game's fault, but instead, Fox News. Yeah, of course. According to the news channel, the game was pretty much a sex simulator with digital nudity and playable graphic sex. The claims they made were outrageous, stating that the majority of people playing were kids, despite the M rating. Not only that, but the male protagonists would treat the females like objects and were able to pick and choose who they wanted to have sex with. It doesn't force you down any situation. You can actually play through this game without the sexual situation ever happening. Right, and the young the boys game. are going to be choosing not to have sex. That'll be what they'll choose. Obviously, if you've played the game, you'll know this is all untrue on so many levels. To begin, you were able to pick what Shepard looked like as well as his gender. Throughout the game, you would be presented with choices that would allow you to swoon different characters, yeah, even forming meaningful relationships with them. Yes, there is a short cutscene with a little butt and some side boob, but that's it. Coming in at number three, Pokemon. Okay, I'm going to name a few here because honestly, Pokemon over the years has been riddled with controversy. Many ranging from the promotion of gambling, to satanic propaganda, to racism, and even blackface. Yep, Pokemon spread their controversial seed far and wide. The racism controversy was actually sparked by the Pokemon TV show after the character of Jinx was designed with, you guessed it, a black face. The backlash was so intense that they banned the episode, later changing the character's face from black to purple. Recently, Peter jumped on the bandwagon, stating that Pokemon was promoting animal abuse, which is absolutely absurd. Coming in at number two, Assassin's Creed Unity. Honestly, this game was just shit. Sorry, but it's true. The majority of the Assassin's Creed franchise is truly fantastic and some of the best games I've ever played, particularly Odyssey. However, Unity was an utter train wreck, and I have no idea what they were thinking. The game focused on Arno as he fought to avenge the death of his father. The game has no female character models, which Ubisoft claimed was because they just didn't have time, and the process was too draining, which is bullshit. Other devs even jumped in, stating that in actuality, it would have only taken the designers a couple of extra days to craft up a female model. Not only that, but upon release, the game was full of glitches, most of them game-breaking. The most famous being faces on some of the character models, severely glitching out, showing only hair, eyes, and teeth. And lastly, in at number one, Fallout 76. Fallout 76 had the most recent gaming controversy, and oh boy was it a doozy. Bethesda is known for its groundbreaking and rich storytelling games. That was until they decided to step into the world of Battle Royale. Their game was basic, average at best, perhaps even worse. So here is everything wrong with it. Number one, it's online only, restricting the game in major ways, making it less accessible for gamers. There are no NPCs in the game either, beyond a few robots here and there. For the most part, you will spend your time alone, roaming the lonely apocalyptic world. Number two, it's boring, plain and simple. Even a veteran gamer by the name of Jeff Gerstmann was quoted as saying, no one on staff wants to play any more of this video game. I'm not going to subject myself to another 20 to 30 hours of this mess to just put a number on it. My number is don't play this game. Wow, cutting. But true, not only that, but much like our previous numbers, the glitches in this game was alarming, it was laggy, with unstable frame rate and rough animations. Overall, the game was a huge train wreck in more ways than one. Well, there we have it. What do you guys think of these gaming controversies? We definitely have enough for a part two, so leave me all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below. Perhaps we can make that happen. If you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss another gaming vid. And until next time, see you later.